When he looks at mother and baby, the 60-year-old artist meets a younger self who no longer stands before an easel. This young man is kneeling on the floor, his upper body suspended over the canvas. There is a freedom in his movement he has not felt for a long time, a mobility in the paint which exhilarates him. The woman and baby who emerge are luminous, joyous, utterly surprising to him. This is what he has been waiting for. It has happened by a strange accident. The Norwich Gallery, where he has a part-time job, has sent him to pick up paintings from a local artist for a new exhibition. The artist's name is John Kiki, and he has a studio above a meat merchant in Great Yarmouth. The studio must be reached by a ladder into a crack in the wall. Inside this space, with the smell of raw meat in his nostrils, the young artist cannot believe what he sees. This contemporary painter is doing what he has been struggling to do. He is making imagined figures appear from the paint. His use of paint is fluid and free. The results are extraordinary. John Kiki becomes a mentor. One day he comes to the warehouse artist studios. The young artist writes in his diary. John Kiki brought me in some of the medium which he uses in his paintings. He brought me some salad bowls and this medium and he said mix it about 50-50 with the terps. Mix up your colours like this, paint on the floor and see what happens. He has followed Kiki's instructions, mixing a paint much more glossy and easier to manipulate than he has been used to. With the canvas flat on the floor instead of on the easel, he is no longer restricted to using a brush. He can pour the paint, drip it, splash it, spray it. It can be spread with rags, sponges, palette knives and whatever else comes to hand, or even just hands and feet. He works fast, in a trance of swirling movement. Almost without effort, mother and baby glimmers into view. He can hardly breathe at what he has done.